A small pickup truck war is starting, and Nissan is about to throw their hat in the ring with an awesome new cheap truck. Over the past few years, full-size trucks have been getting bigger, fancier, and more expensive, but in 2023, sales of these overpriced trucks have slowed to a crawl, and manufacturers are trying to figure out what to do next. Ford was first to the small truck game by releasing the Maverick, rumors of a new Toyota Stout have been taking over the internet, and Nissan recently revealed that they are thinking about bringing back the classic hard-body pickup truck with a new and more modern version, and it might even start at a shockingly low price of just $20,000. The small truck market is starting to make a huge comeback, but as of 2023, the options for small trucks are limited to the Ford Maverick, Honda Ridgeline, and Hyundai Santa Cruz. If you want to buy anything smaller than a full-size truck, you'll have to go with the current mid-size options available today. And while they're not the tiny, cheap trucks of the 90s, we still have some good options. Toyota recently revealed the all-new 2024 Tacoma. Ford totally redesigned the Ranger, and Chevy is crushing it with the Colorado. However, However, none of these start anywhere close to $20,000. The Tacoma starts at $32,995, the Ranger is now $32,000, and the Chevy Colorado wins as the cheapest cheap truck at just $30,695. But that's not what consumers are really getting excited about. Small trucks are making a comeback and the future looks promising. The Ford Maverick has been a huge hit for truck fans with a starting MSRP of just $23,400. In fact, it's been so popular that Ford can't even make enough of them. Toyota Toyota has noticed the success of the Maverick, and they've been hyping up a potential competitor by bringing back the beloved Toyota Stout. And now, in 2023, Nissan wants a piece of the action, and a ton of rumors have been spreading about the return of a modern Nissan hardbody pickup truck, and it could start at around just $20,000. The Nissan hardbody pickup first came into production in 1985, kicking off a decade-long run that solidified Nissan's reputation as a durable, go-anywhere truck that was just as rugged as any 4x4 being built by Ford or Chevy. It wasn't until the introduction of the 2001 Nissan Frontier that it started to become a chunkier mid-size monster. The Frontier has now been updated and it looks better than ever, but the pricing is also going up. Nissan wants to bring back a cheap small truck, and while I'm excited to see if they bring it back, information is still very limited. In an article on the drive back in 2021, they said a small truck from Nissan might return, but it could be in electric form. And an article on Motor Trend even showed a render released by Nissan of what this tiny electric truck could look like. The future of small trucks is very exciting, but in order to see where the small truck market is going, we need to take a look at what's happening in the mid-size truck market today. All right, I am here at the Nissan dealership, so we can go ahead and start by looking at some of the smaller trucks that they make. Right now, obviously, they do have the Frontier, and I did find some Frontiers here, but after Nissan, we're going to go to Ford to look at some of the Rangers and Maverick, and then we're also going to go to Toyota to look at what other small truck options that they have, because in previous videos, I've been looking at the large truck market, you know, big trucks like the Nissan Titan and the Ford F-150s and the full-size Chevys and GMCs. We've gone there, we've done all that, we've looked at those, we know how expensive those can get. But what we're talking about here is the future of Nissan bringing back the potential for a small light truck, even smaller than the new Frontiers that they have right here. But what I wanna do since we're here is look at some small trucks, compare the prices of the small mid-sized pickup truck to the large ones because while a lot of these dealers have some big trucks they always are really low on inventory of the medium-sized truck because the size is good the price point is really spot on and they're much more affordable than the large full-size truck so right here we've got some new nissan frontiers we got this nice blue one a uh, red one another blue one here this looks like a higher trim level um, they do have some full-size titans uh, along this back row and they even have a nice green frontier right here So let's look at a few of these frontiers and check out the prices on them how they compare to the big trucks And then we'll go compare the price of the frontier to uh, Trucks like the Ranger the Maverick and the Toyota Tacoma. So this looks more like a, a base frontier here uh, We got a four-door here. We got a two-door, but this two-door looks like it's probably gonna be the lower cost option and of course it does not have a sticker in it so that's going to be a little difficult so we'll check out this blue one right here i do like this color it's a really pretty color and it is a four-door so we got a 2024 model it's actually brand new sv crew cab 4x4 automatic v6 with 310 horsepower and 281 torque not too shabby but these trucks show that they start around twenty eight thousand dollars on nissan's website this trim model is going to run you thirty nine thousand dollars for a four-wheel drive v6 automatic Nissan Frontier and this blue one is a little bit higher trim level and it does have the nicer wheels the all-terrain tires 
side steps. These are Nissan branded. They say Frontier on them. And it is the Pro 4X with a bed liner already in it. So this one's probably gonna be a little bit more. 2024 Pro 4X crew cab, same three liter V6, same automatic transmission, just a lot more creature comforts and leather interior. As you can see here, it's a little bit nicer inside. It does have a large screen in there. This one is uh, quite a bit more than that other one. This will run you $49,075, which is $10,000 more than that blue one behind me. And this is basically like the top tier trim line that you can get on the Frontier. But while we're here, let's just see how much this Titan is right next to it. Cause I like to see the difference between kind of a mid tier trim level and high tier Frontier trim level uh, and compare it to this Titan. So this is a 2024 Titan, which is the last year of the Titan, 5.6 liter V8, two wheel drive. Uh, it does have 400 horsepower and 413 foot pounds of torque. And this is uh, pretty close to the price of that Frontier at 41,415. And of course, this is just like a mid-tier Titan. I would never wash my Jeep with sandpaper, so why would I ever want to use those cheap grocery store razors to shave my balls or body hair? Well, thanks to today's video sponsor, Manscaped, I'll always have a hair trimmer that's revolutionizing men's grooming. Just start with the main trim head on the Lawnmower 5.0 to get rid of those pesky long hairs. Then bust out the Skin Safe trimmer to get everything super smooth. And if you're having a problem seeing anything down there, it's got a light, so that's pretty cool. Now, I can't show you trim but down there, but I can show you what it's like on my long freaking arm hair. Look at that. I highly recommend getting the whole kit because it comes with the lawnmower 5.0, a nose and ear hair trimmer, some crop preserver ball deodorant, and also some lotion to keep your balls nice and smooth. You'll also get this shed toiletry bag and some super cozy boxers. So head over to manscaped.com to get your hands on the lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. And when you use my promo code MOTORFEE, you'll get 20% off plus free international shipping at checkout. That's 20% off plus free international shipping when you use the promo code MOTORFEED at manscaped.com. This one here, if you run up, this is more of a higher trim level with the V8 Endurance, some nicer wheels and all-terrain tires. It is the Pro 4X Titan with the bed liner and the slides and everything. And I do think the Titan has always been underrated. Um, a lot of people don't really like the front end uh, and they're worried about the reliability of the Nissans, but the V8s are like pretty much bulletproof in these trucks. So it's sad to see that these are going away. So we got the 2024 XD Pro 4 4x4, four four, 5 liter V6, same horsepower and torque as the other one, same 9 speed auto, pretty much all the bells and whistles, 9 inch touch screen, heated everything, leather seats. The interior does look pretty nice, but it's still not the nicest interior of trucks I've seen. But this is right in line with some of the mid tier F 150 prices. This is running you $69,785. And I think when people have the choice between the F 150 and the Titan, they usually end up going with the F-150 most of the time. But I wanna see what this green one looks like. This is one of my favorite Nissan colors that I've ever seen. And honestly, I really hope that they do put this green on the new Z. That would just be the perfect car uh, that I would buy because I am a big uh, Nissan Z nerd. I've owned a bunch of them over the course of my life. So this one is a four door, two wheel drive automatic V6, no leather interior, just the cloth seats and kind of more basic uh, trim level does have a bed liner inside and on the bottom, so that's pretty nice. Uh, but this 2024 two-wheel drive, 3.8 liter V6, is gonna run you $39,380. So quite a bit higher on these Frontiers than the starting price, but I think you get it for the Nissan Frontier. I'm, I'm really hoping that they do follow through on the thought of a smaller, more compact, like two-door extended cab, small light pickup truck, like the Maverick size maybe, but smaller, that would be pretty cool. But let's run down to Ford and see if they have any Rangers or Mavericks so we can compare the price of the Ranger and the Maverick to these Nissans and see how they stack up. And then after that, of course, we have to go to Toyota to check out the Frontiers. Well, I'm here at Ford and uh, this is where one of the bones I have to pick with Ford starts because they're really missing a large segment of their market. Uh, and here's what I mean. We have a little row of anywhere from 70 to $95,000 Ford F-150 trucks. Some modified with lifts and lightnings over there, of course, we know those are a little bit pricey. And then as I walk like a little bit further Further through this lot. We've got some Explorers. We've got a couple of new 5.0 Mustangs. We've got the little cheap Ford Escapes if you want a cheap SUV. Obviously the Bronco 2s. But we've got more full-size 60 
5000 to $85,000 F-150 trucks. There's a Bronco, more Explorers, F-150s on this row, more SUVs uh, shoved all in the middle here. And you may notice one big important thing missing uh, as I walk around here. More F-150s all the way down that row more F-150s all the way down this row on the left. And as I walk through here, F-150s stacked all the way back there and all the way over there. But here's the problem. You might notice something or two things missing. There are no Ford Rangers anywhere on the slot and there are no Ford Mavericks. The truck that they were bragging about, that they were saying this is affordable, you're gonna be able to get them. Everyone's gonna be able to buy a Ford truck if they want it, no matter how thick or how light their wallet is. But as you can see behind me, they are just catering to people with thick wallets right now. Uh, there are no Mavericks anywhere. They went balls out crazy on building F-150s and they just kind of shoved the Ranger and the Maverick aside. Even though so many people I talked to, including my mom, want a Ford Maverick, they just aren't making them and so people can't buy them. If you have a hot truck that people want, but you're not building it, then of course all the dealers are gonna mark up the Maverick. And the problem with that is it takes a $25,000 truck, puts it in the $35,000 range with the markup, and then it's no longer a super affordable little truck. So it defeats the purpose of even coming out with it in the first place. So that's a bit disappointing. I'm sure there's other Ford dealers uh, in the Metroplex of Dallas-Fort Worth that have Mavericks, I searched, but I searched on Auto Trader for a while and they were all like an hour drive away. And honestly, I see you get my point. How can you compete in the smaller truck market with the truck that you have, but you don't even take the time to build it. So that's disappointing, but let's go somewhere where I know they have a lot of cool small trucks and they're building them and they're selling every single one. And that's called Toyota. All right, we finally made it to Toyota and this is like a bit of a different story compared to the last Toyota dealership I was at in Boise, Idaho. That dealership had so much inventory, so many forerunners, loaded up with Tacomas, tons of Tundras, uh, but this is a different story. We've got two Tundras here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Tundras over here, and a few random ones parked back there, but those are in service. So we've got only eight new Tundras here at the dealership, uh, compared to Idaho, that's like about half of the inventory. And the Idaho dealership had like 30 Tacomas. This one has two. And I don't know if that's because we're in Texas and they're just selling a lot more because there's a lot more people here compared to Idaho, or they're just not getting as much inventory as the uh, dealers that we were at in Idaho. But we do have a four-door SR5 Tacoma, kind of a mid, trim level spec. This is a 2023 SR5. It is only a four by two, so two wheel drive. And the price is $43,469. But here's the thing about that price. And maybe this dealer is not selling as much or doesn't have as much inventory because they're adding on a bunch of random crap. The MSRP is 39,000, but they have whatever this is called Green Light Express Bundle uh, for $3,900, which is Toyota Extra Care, window tint, nitrogen tires, door edge protection, wheel locks, ceramic coating, safety and security system, totaling almost $4,000 in additional options, bringing it to $43,000. So this dealer has four grand worth of crap that you don't need added onto this thing. And it's probably the same story with this Toyota. So the Toyota dealership in Idaho didn't have four grand worth of junk loaded up on their truck and i'm gonna assume they're probably not selling as many tacomas as the boise idaho dealer because they add four grand worth of stuff you don't need so that's a bit disappointing to see um most of the toyota dealers i've ran across uh in utah and in idaho had everything at msrp didn't have a bunch of dealer add-ons which was pretty cool uh, but i heard some toyota dealers are doing that stuff and this is the first time i have seen it so honestly out of all the dealerships, like looking at mid-sized trucks, I haven't taken much time to pay attention to the Nissan Frontier, but I think it looks really good. And I think for the money, it's a pretty good thing to buy. So my hope is that over time, Nissan does release the smaller pickup truck, more like an old Nissan hard body. And you can get one for 20 to 25, maybe 30 grand at a higher trim level. I say Nissan, if you really want to do something like that, go for it because Ford makes cheaper trucks like the Ranger and the Maverick. 
but they're not even building them, so you can't get them. And when they show up at dealerships, they have a dealer markup because they're rare. And then Toyota with the Tacoma, they're slowly getting rid of the 2023s because the new 2024s are coming out and they do look pretty cool. Uh, but they're also gonna be more expensive than those Frontiers when they come out. So if you're looking and you're hunting and you're trying to buy over the next few months and you don't want a new 2024 Tacoma, I say jump on that Frontier. And uh, also Nissan, good job bringing out a small hard body pickup and crush it.